Alright you guys, now we're here to review Robocop 4 Dark Justice. This film was released in 2001 and basically takes place 10 years after the events of the original Robocop in an alternate reality. Okay, so no Ann Lewis in this one. Ann Lewis is replaced by uh, a male um, partner named John Cable. Okay, and basically the story is about Delta City, formerly known as Old Detroit has been peaceful for the past 10 years okay nothing has happened until a villain named Bone Machine shows up and stirs trouble around Delta City and it's basically up to Robocop to put a stop to him now in this film we learn a lot about Robocop we learn a lot about Alex Murphy the guy behind Robocop basically this is like Alex Murphy's movie basically and we learn that he and his partner um, Cable basically were good friends on the force until one day Cable got a little too heavy handed and did something stupid which uh, Murphy did not like and take and took for granted so he basically left that force and transferred down to Metro West which is the division he came in in the original Robocop film so yeah that's basically how that went down but an OCP just like in the original series in this alternate, in this reality, alternate o OCP is still as shady as they want to be, boy. And they come up with a bunch of shady things. The plot is so big to, for me to explain. I'm going to try my best here, okay? So besides Bone Crusher showing up, you also have OCP doing their own little thing by setting up John Cable as Bone Machine so that uh, Bone Machine can get lowered out to take down him and Robocop. How you ask? Well, Robocop was be ha secretly gotten hacked overnight while he was aka sleeping because he sleeps in this movie for some weird reason but okay. Sleeping. Okay, and he is um, hacked to terminate or capture John Cable, his former partner. Okay, so with that being said Cable's ex-wife organizes this whole event for it to go down. So Bone Bone Machine, I always want to keep saying Bone Crusher for some reason. This ain't Spider-Man. Bone Machine can come out and get both of them at one shot because Bone Machine was supposed to be the next like biggest cop. He wanted to be the biggest um um next biggest thing since RoboCop. Okay? since Bone Crusher himself was a former cop and Robocop finds out that OCP had a hand in this technology and that's how we knew he was a former cop okay now I explained all that there was one more thing I wanted to get to before I actually get to the movie itself um, I think that was oh okay so basically in this reality, Media Break is now called Media Net. But in a scene where Murphy is still Murphy, he's not Robocop yet, and he's talking to his partner Cable while they're on a job, he mentions while they were talking about the little a little thing they were talking about, he mentions that he saw it the other night on Media Break. When in the film, the whole entire film they they're advertised as Media Net. So which one is it? <laughs> oh man. Now, I'm giving this movie a real big break because it was a direct to TV, to TV um, series. It wasn't, I mean, movie. It was like a direct to TV and then direct to video movie. It wasn't like a big budget Hollywood film with a shitty um, low budgetness to it. So I can forgive the fact that it's a low budget film, which is the reason why it got so much hate because it, it was low budget. I'm fine with that. As long as it's not like a big Hollywood movie with a shitty, with a big ass budget and shitty effects like some of these movies nowadays and I can formally tell you this movie is a thousand times better than Robocop 3 because when Robocop 3 failed with this PG-13 rating and this big sci-fi-ness to it Robocop Dark Justice basically goes back to its R-rated roots so you get your violence back even though it's kinda like low budget violence of course but you still love it you get suicidal people blowing each other blowing themselves up which is awesome because they actually show that and it's pretty cool <laughs> I won't lie there. 
and you get the corruptness of OCP as if that will ever change even in the alternate reality OCP is still dickheads okay now for the acting the acting is somewhat mediocre um, the guy who plays Robocop is good the guy who plays Cable is okay even though I don't like that big out of shape mustache he has it just doesn't look like it fit his face because earlier on he doesn't have a mustache he looks better that way this big big ass mustache like you just want to go like that like a fucking sheriff or something just not working <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just what's not working <laughs> and by movies by the, the end of the movie you'll notice all the big shading has come together in a whole to create a certain thing for the next film Okay, and I will get to the next film in September. The reason why I, I make these RoboCop reviews two months apart is because I give people time, enough time to see the movie before I do the next one. And this one, you're going to want to watch this Dark Justice before I get to Meltdown. Because um, the Meltdown will be the spoiler, basically. Because it's not... Well, it is a spoiler because I'm about to explain the plot. Okay, just like I have to explain this big-ass plot in this movie. So, yeah. But with that being said, I enjoyed this movie. I thought it was pretty good for what it what it was trying to do. And I'm giving Robocop for or Robocop Dark Justice a B plus. It was good. I liked it better way, way better than Robocop 3. So yeah. If you guys seen Robocop Dark Justice, let me know in the comment section down below. I did that too early. And let me know what you think about it. I thought it was pretty good. It was a return to form for what we got. So yeah, that is my review of Robocop 4 Dark Justice. Or just Robocop Dark Justice. Um, so yeah, I'm out.